there's a story of Lazarus and the story of Jesus in the tomb after his crucifixion. In the story of Lazarus, um, the stone moved when the spirit of love asked it to be moved. Roll back the stone. That was the command of love. Roll back the stone. And the stone was rolled back and life emerged from that tomb. It was presumed there was death in there, but obviously love doesn't break its own rules. It's not as though a dead man actually came back to life. It wasn't a zombie experience. But the stone was rolled back because love said, roll back the stone. In the story of the tomb where Jesus was placed, his body was placed, love moved that stone too. It just came from within the tomb, within the womb. So love moving with, within our experience moves the stone for us as well. We are not waiting for someone else to move our stone. We're not waiting for the spirit of love from another person to say, move the stone. Except when I spoke about this mystic experience I had, the awakening experience I had of being with someone, in some ways they were saying, um, roll back your stone, Jane. But it wouldn't have rolled back if I hadn't said yes to love. If I hadn't recognized what it was, that it was the voice of love saying, roll back that stone. I think sometimes um, in our spiritual or even emotional and mental awakening, there are ways we um, roll back the stone little by little, just as we release overlays that have been placed on us, beliefs that don't serve, or teachings that have said, well, you really should be shameful, or you really should realize how limited you are and what a sinner you are, or um, what a failure you are. The other day, a friend mentioned that within their church's dogma, who they were as a, a person was considered an abomination. That stone needs to be rolled away. So we have our own maturing process of noticing the things that are stony in our own heart or in our thinking. And then we, from the place of love, when we see them, we can um, roll those away. And so some of them might just fall over. I don't, I don't want to get into the physics of it all, but the power of love does create a clearer vision where those stones that have been on our heart or in our um, conscious thinking are seen and the power of love within us saying, roll away the stone. We might not chant, that might not be our mantra. We don't wake up every morning saying, roll away the stone or whenever we're in trouble, we say, roll away the stone. No, that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the presence of realizing I am here in the midst of what seems incredibly uncomfortable, whether it's in my heart or my mind or the circumstance I find myself in. The rolling of the way of the stone is actually just saying, stand in the place of love. Stand in the place of true identity here, Jane, because I got you. I got my mind and my heart. I can hold them. They're right there. I got them. They're mine. I, they will serve me. They are not the boss of me, and they are not, I, they will not impose another stone over my heart. Because that can happen over and over again, no matter how old you are. Someone says something that's hurtful to you, you can put another stone over your heart and say, I'm never going to love again. I'm just not going to do that again. No, hold your own mind and heart in the presence of your love so that you can realize, no, we don't need, we, we don't need no more stones. We don't need to be creating another uh, reality that we have to get through again somewhere down the road. So there is the rolling away of the stones in our own coming into our own maturity, our own mystic experience, our being a mystic, being in the mystery. The mystery stops being a mystery when you become a mystic. Does that make sense? <laughs> because the mystery is because you have forgotten how the truth of love works. And so we think that, oh my, and nothing makes sense. And then all of a sudden you start living in the place of love. And it's like, everything makes sense. 
everything works because the stony heart is in in heaven revealing wholeness and wholesomeness 